everybody, welcome back to my shop. Um, today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Behind me here on my workbench um, is a DeWalt air compressor that has been partially disassembled. I got it for 25 bucks off of a guy who said it was broken and so I knew that it wasn't working. And I took it apart and um, the motor did run a little bit but it threw a whole bunch of sparks. I'll put a little video of that up in the corner. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to turn it on now because those sparks are pretty bad. Um, and so, turns out after doing some investigation, looking closely at the motor, there. This is a universal motor on this, and so what that means it has carbon brushes that contact a thing called a commutator, and that's you know. The electricity passing through those is what makes the motor spin. The commutator consists of um, all different segments called wipers, and one of the wipers on my commutator is busted up pretty bad, and that's what's causing the sparks and all the mess. What happens is the motor will run, it'll spark heavily, it'll overheat and shut down. Let me take you in really close and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, I'll get you in here as close as I can <clears throat> to, uh, while staying in focus. So these are the commutator fins. I believe they call them wipers. Full disclosure, I'm not an expert on any of this stuff. It's just from doing my research online. So as you can see right here, or maybe you can't, but there's one here that is really chewed up, and I don't know how it got that way. That's not really my concern. Um, what I'm going to attempt to do is repair this and then repolish the commutator and hopefully get this thing back into good working order. I think this is as far as I'm going to take the filing of the commutator. Um, I'm not 100% sure um, if this is even going to work, so I epoxied this piece in. There's still a pretty decent um, chip out on this wiper here, and so I'm not sure how that's going to affect the performance of the motor. I'm going to try to get this carbon residue off the windings here. And 
I'm going to blow it all out with air just to get all these uh, copper filings out of the grooves. I'm trying to avoid shorting out the thing, if possible. Um, and then I'm going to put it back together and see how she runs. Give this one shot. Cross my fingers. Hope I don't blow anything up. Something didn't happen that was supposed to happen. I gotta wait for it to cool down now before I can uh, do anything. That well, looks like it popped back out again, so that repair was a failure. Oh, bummer. <laughs>